what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here talking about scream 6 once again today and this will be about nev campbell as well as some other stuff regarding the cast that i believe has already been secured since production is supposed to start this summer on scream 6 so this is coming to us from one take news this first half of the video saying that nev campbell is in talks to return to sydney prescott in scream 6 this is an exclusive that they're reporting now if you want some type of reason as to why you should believe them these are the same people who told us about the ryan johnson involvement with screen 5 and we know how that came to be i think also bits big screen leaks if you're someone who follows them on twitter they have an association with this site as well so nev campbell uh or according to one take news multiple sources tells them that screen franchise star nev campbell is in talks to once again reprise the role of sydney prescott in the upcoming sequel to the 2022's scream one source mentions that talks have been underway for quite a while now this of course would line up with again a lot of the breadcrumbs that we've been getting post screen 5 release with nev campbell talking to screen rent saying that she would love to be back involved it would also come down to how the script is being done kind of kind of honestly i wouldn't be surprised if nev campbell herself was already read the script i wouldn't be surprised if the script is already finished you know they've had between 2020 when the film stopped filming and all the way from 2021 to now to now with where we are today in 2022 to pin up a script have the people that they think they want to have back read over the script uh during the during the time of screen 5 releasing maybe a little bit before in like december of last year maybe somewhere in between last year they've had time to pin together a treatment and have the people that they want back look over it and say you know i i think this is a great idea you know but they're just not going to come out and talk about it right away like how nev campbell has come out and say that it would come down to the script how they handle sydney etc so all of these things are factors into what we know will bring nev campbell back to the table or back into the fold for scream six she's already made that clear david arquette can still return of course as dewey riley if gail weathers actually gets to make that book that she says she wants to make at the end of screen five talking about a good man who used to be the t be the sheriff of this town that's a good way to bring david arquette back as dewey gail weathers herself will be involved in it i would imagine just showing her on her tv show or just her coming around being the the news reporter gail weathers that we've come to know and love from screen one screen two how she kind of also was in Scream 5, but just back even more so in Scream 6. Maybe we see a little bit more of that darker side or bitchy side of her, I would say, come back to full full effect with Dewey being gone. You know, again, the tension between her and Sydney, I would say, is non-existent. At this point, I think they're very good friends, but Gail still has her ways. She's still Gail. <laughs> Uh, so it's not shocking that Sydney Prescott, Nev Campbell is in fact in talks apparently to reprise her role. That's expected. The film still doesn't have to be focused on Sydney Prescott. I'm expecting Sydney to again be in this Sarah Connor type of role this time around where she's just guiding these new girls. And we're going to focus on Sam and, Sam and Tara. I, I hope Jenna Ortega is the one that's carrying the bulk of this film, honestly, with Melissa Barrera being kind of the side piece to how Tara was the side piece to Sam in the screen five that we got I just want them to flip the roles around and let Tara Jenna Ortega's character carry it and we get to focus more on Tara as a group of friends and flesh them out a little bit more uh Chad and Mindy once again played by Jasmine Floyd Brown and Mason Gooding the other thing we need to talk about is again going to the fact that if the film is indeed set, set to film this summer that means that the casting announcement are coming sooner rather than later and it also means that again stuff has been in place for some time but now with the success of scream six or scream five scream six has officially been confirmed and they're going to move ahead they've already been making arrangements it's clear as day they had faith in the film that's why they made these arrangements i would imagine so Go also from One Take News, they said that currently no other cast members, new or returning, have been announced. But sources say casting has been underway for quite some time, for quite some time now. So announcements are imminent. Again, going off of the fact that we know that they're expected to start filming this summer, that would indicate to you that they already had certain things locked in, such as such as the survivors that we got from Screen Five. That again being Melissa Barrera, uh, Jen Ortega, Mason Gooding, Jasmine Savoy Brown, Courtney Cox, Nev Campbell. And then, of course, considering the things that they've talked they, that they wanted to do with Screen 5, you would have to consider Samara Weaving being locked down, probably. You'd have to consider Hayden Pantier being locked down, probably. You also would have to consider some of the things that you, if you've heard someone who read the original script for Screen 5 or one of the original drafts, you know that there was a moment where we first met up with Sydney during that phone conversation where she looked over at her husband. So you have to consider Patrick Dempsey possibly being involved. There's just so many things and so many people 
you could expect to be involved with this film that have already been secured and the announcements are going to come sooner rather than later if production is again set to start in this upcoming summer with a release date hopefully this hasn't been announced i'm just predicting sometime in early 2023 or october 2023 or even the summer of 2023 or the spring you know at any point in 2023 you know if you're filming the movie this year if there's nothing that's going to stop you it's going to come out in 2023 so i know a lot of people feel that they're rushing this i don't feel that it's rushed again you need to consider that scream 5 was supposed to be out in 2021 they had all of 2021 to pin together a script, pin together a treatment. They could still be working on said script and, and coming up on the final details of the script. Or they could be in the revision process at this stage with filming already set to begin this summer. There's, they've had a lot of time to come up with this script and come up with this idea. Uh, Radio Silence themselves, again, they've been leaving breadcrumbs about this announcement that we got today. In another interview, again, this was post Screen 5. They said that Guy and Jamie have some amazing ideas about where they could take us next. Again, they're not coming out and saying that, you know, they're the ones writing this script. They're just saying that their friends, Guy and Jamie, had some amazing ideas. It's not that hard to believe that Guy and Jamie already wrote the script and they have been going back and forth on revising it and coming down to what they already want. While at the same time, when they finish that, locking down people who they want to have in scream six when the announcement was made for it to be officials again samara weaving someone who they wanted to have in screen five uh hayden panettiere someone else who expressed interest in wanting to be in screen five they just didn't want to shoehorn kirby in. they want to do kirby justice because they are fans of kirby reed so the involvement of kirby reed in scream six is not something that should shock anyone if it actually becomes a thing this would be a great return for hayden panettiere who i think hasn't been involved in anything major for many years at this point so i can't wait to see what jenna ortega brings to the table when she comes back and i really do think that focusing on her and her group of friends and her trauma from the events of screen five is the route to go given that she's younger i just feel like you're garner a lot more sympathy from your audience with this younger character and i think melissa barrera if sam is off her meds this time around i think you'll see a different side of sam maybe that'll satisfy a lot more people who thought that she did a bad job you know i don't think that but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification so you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video